Okay, it's just come out to half past one on day two. We've left the Elam Valley, we had plenty of fun there. We've driven back down through Wales, and we're coming back up to the Severn Bridge. So it's not a long day in the car, but who am I to complain, because I am driving a Lamborghini. As the name suggests, this Lamborghini is all about lightweight, so lots of carbon fibre on the doors. We've even lost the radio, and who needs a radio when you've got that soundtrack? We're back in England now, and we're on the M5 heading towards Western Supermare. But one advantage of the Honda over the Lamborghini is it's got a radio, so I think it's time we listen to some music. You might imagine that getting back into this hot hatch after driving the Lamborghini, you'd feel a little bit short-changed. But I have to say, this Honda, the Civic's been really impressive on this trip, because the Type R's at its best when it's been driven absolutely flat out. So when you're using all the high point of the revs in the engine, really driving it hard, it comes into its own. Well, we've had a quick stop off in Western Supermare, we've taken a few photos, and now we're back on the M5. You may have noticed we've changed cars, we're now in the STI Subaru, and with 300 horsepower, the Impreza is the middle car in our 1,000 brake horsepower lineup. But the new STI certainly feels a lot punchier and urgent than the WRX version that we've also driven. And the performance is actually quite impressive. But what really surprised me about the Subaru is the amount of people that came up to us in petrol stations and car parks and excitedly asked us if this was a new STI. Which is pretty special when you think they walk past a Lamborghini to get excited about this Subaru. Cold and windy start to day three, and we can't drive any further because we've reached Land's End. Nathan's just taken a few pictures, and then we're going to make our way back to London, but take in a couple of key Auto Express locations on the way. Well, it's a lot nicer here at Castle Coombe than it was at Land's End. We've had another long day in the driving seat and we ended up here at Castle Coombe just as the sun's setting. Unfortunately, we can't get to drive the cars around this fabulous circuit, but we have taken some great pictures. And I'm going to jump from the Lamborghini now and head off for the last leg back to London. <laughs> 